choice equals sc dot next int. So we read an integer off of the keyboard, right? And now we have the integer. Now we want um, we want to make our multidimensional array. How do we make the multidimensional array? That's pretty simple too. Uh, first we want um, int, and then we have the two dimensions. So th this is showing us that it's a multidimensional array. It has two dimensions. And we equals, uh, oh, first we have to name it. So let's name it board equals new int 3, 3. Right? So we just uh, ma made a new 3x3 three three array. So let's check that it compiles. It compiled, no syntax errors, perfect. We're, we're being awesome here. So now, how do we display this, um, this board that we made onto the screen? Well, let's try it with a for loop. So we start with the loop, and um, the quick loop, let's see. Here's our quick loop. And then we, we need another one equals zero, j is less than three, j plus plus, right? And so now would, how do we deal with this? Um, well, all we're gonna do is system.out.print um, and we're gonna print board of i and j. And this is gonna print out the element in the array and then if mm, j is not equal to 2, we're just going to print out um, just print out this little divider symbol. Um, it's very simple, not tricky. We're just going to print out this divider symbol and at the end of each uh, each line we're just going to put uh, oops, let's see, we're just going to put no, we don't need two statements. I overestimated here a little bit. We're just going to put new line. We're just going to put the new line. And so now let's compile. Let's, uh, where's our thing? Uh, void main. We run main, enter number three. And then we have our zero, 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 zero. Actually, we want it instead of an int, we want a car character and car array. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Um, and plug in main, and let's now we have empty characters. Perfect. Now, uh, once we have the choice, we need to split up the choice into two coordinates in x and in y where x is the horizontal and y is the vertical. And we split it up by this chart. So uh, the vertical one is going to be the number divided by 3, right? Because uh, that, that gives us the row. So y equals choice divided by 3. And x is choice mod 3. And I set, set up the board to, for it to be that way, to work out. The dimensions to all work out. You can check if you want, because uh, the dimensions of the array starts at zero. So now all we need to do after we declare board, we just need to set board of um, this of this position that the end user entered equal to x, which is our uh, symbol here, and then we print out the board one more time, and um, we leave happy. So let me check. Uh, one more time, 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 this works. So let's run main method. Please enter a number. Um, uh, can I make the text a little larger? No, okay. Let's enter number, let's enter nine. Um, oops, I did not see what the error was. This is a bit of a problem. Let's enter. Oh, array out of ba bounds exception. Oh, wait, because 9 is not one of the choices. Ah, stupid me. Let's run this again. 
and let's enter 8 so it put an X where the 8 is and let's run this one more time and put a 5 and now it put an X in the fifth block according to this board right so here is a simple way how we put in a board and we uh, ask the user for some input and then we put in uh, in this the correct square we put in an X so now you can go build off of the on this and hopefully make your own uh, game of tic-tac-toe um, or the homework assignment for you guys is to improve on this and make a game where two people can alternate one can put an X one can put a O so just uh, the program asks you let player one go let player two go etc and maybe I'll uh, refer to that and we'll talk about AIs in some future lecture so thank you thank you for being with me and uh, thank you for coming to this uh, audio tutorial and I hope to see you again sometime um, till next time see you